What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, Life of Bonsai. So today, we have this Nadina Domestica. Pretty beautiful, still have some uh, really nice color coming up. I want to do a pretty nice literati style. So those are kind of like crazy bands all over the place. And then just the growth at the top. This one is perfect because there's no growth coming down right here. So now, this is going to be an experiment. Crazy one right here. I'm going to use a saw to saw in a little bit into the wood and that's going to allow for that band. I'm going to add some paste here and I'm going to wrap it with some raffia just to make sure that it heals. So first thing I want to do, first I want to get rid of some of this growth right here. So this one, I think is this is death pretty much so we don't you didn't worry about that right now. There we go. So all this is just dead. That's growing. I might get rid of this one, but for now I'm just going to leave it alone. So my lead is going to be this one right here. So this is going to be my lead. So as you can see, there's some type of like reverse taper right here. That's caused because of this. So I will get rid of this one. It's just a small branch, so I'll get rid of that one. Again, this is an experiment that I'm doing, so let's see how it how it turns out. So you can see nothing too much. It's half of this branch is dead already, so it doesn't really matter. It's not going to harm too much. So I want to make sure that it's a clean cut. So yeah, this is the one that I posted. Uh, from a video a while back ago where I went out and I was looking for an Andina and this is the one that I chose so it's just been sitting there for now but I think it's time to get some style to it it was ten dollars only so I mean we don't really lose much in case that something does not work out so as you can see just by doing that it has a really nice kind of like a curvature right here so um, coming down this way and this way okay so now I still have these two branches up here but I think for now I'm just gonna keep them I'm just gonna keep those branches and see what we can work with so again we're gonna grab this saw so my idea this is already a curve so I want it to be pointing kind of this way like that so, and then go in that curvature right there. So the way that I'll be able to do that is with the saw. So let's get started. So here we go. Now, this little thing, hopefully you can see it in the video. It's a little Chinese elm cutting that I did. And I just tucked it in there when I was doing some uh, trimming on my Chinese elm. And it's actually growing. So this has a lot of growth, so I don't really want to mess with it. Um, so we are going to go about right here. Just this way. Good. So the thing is going... A little bit halfway. And think about right there. So you want to make different cuts that go instead of going straight, they go kind of like this way. So once you close on the tree, it closes down and it's able to bend. So that's the uh, that's the goal that we have here. And I'm gonna make one right here kind of like a V shape
Alrighty, so I have my cuts that I made. I made several cuts right here, as you can see. And now, so much easier to bend. So you can see, I'm out of wire. I'm wire it down right here. I'm gonna add some cutting paste, just so it doesn't get any bacteria or any, you know, infection like that. So, I'm gonna wrap it with some raffia as well. And that's, that's way, way nicer. As you can see, this is how it is normally. And right there. So we have this right here. It's still a little bit of inverse taper right here, which I don't really like too much. But that's, that's a really nice curve right there. Coming this way. And I kind of want to do one more right here so I can pull it up this way. So I might do that. Okay, so here we have what we will come up with. So I'm going to add the wire. Just push it down. Alrighty, so to be able to anchor this down, I'll need to drill a hole to the container. Go. Just by the side. Then you're gonna grab that wire and bring it to the hole that we made. Right there. Not cutting it yet, make sure that I have enough. much I was able to bend that this was pretty much straight and right there again I'm experimenting right here so let's see how it does now I also did two cuts right here might be too much but again I'm doing an experiment so let's see what it does so you can see with those two bands I'll be able to go that far so again, I'm going to add a wire. Alright, so this is what I was able to come up with. Um, I can bend a little bit. This is pretty fragile, but whatever. So I'm still thinking of which one should be my lead. If I should just let it grow this way, or if, it should, if I should keep this one as my lead and just let it go straight up. Um, I had a pretty good, pretty interesting bend. So I know you can't really see this right here. I'm going to get a close up here in a little bit. But what you do, what you have, I'm sorry, is this way. And then as you can see, we created this band right here by making those cuts right here. Uh, I had a little bit of cut paste right here. And I'm going to add some more. Uh, that's going to allow for the, wound, for the wounds to heal faster and not let any of that energy out of the tree. So... I'm gonna add a bunch of it because those were some major cuts that we did right there. So, and I'm not sure if I'll, I, I don't think I'll be adding raffia, honestly. Um, I think it should be good. The tree is being held by the, uh, by the wires, so I think it should be okay. Alrighty, so this is what we end up with. So this is what we have, and let me show you what I had before. Now, uh, as you can see, I added some paste right there and right there. I removed that extra one that was running. It was just a, it was just a uh, skinny branch that was running that way, so nothing major. Now, still not sure. This one runs this way, so that could be my lead, or we can make it run this way. This part right here is already dead, but this growth right here is starting to go that way. I have different options, but right now I'm just going to let it rest. And yeah, this is what we ended up with. 
So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share, comment down below if you have any other tips that I can do for this thing once it heals. Please subscribe, share. Have a great day. I'll keep you guys updated on how everything is going with this tree. How it's um, doing after this major, major styling. I'll keep you updated.